Hi everyone, a recent customer asked me about how could they put a status uh, of a workflow on a form and show the status on the form basically as, as the workflow is going through. So the first thing I would do is add a column in your SharePoint list. So I go to choice and I'd set a status. You could use a single line of text if you wanted to. Um, I think in forms, it's just a bit easier to use a choice control. So I'm gonna put my choices as not scheduled scheduled in progress for when the workflow is running and then also uh, completed for when the workflow is completed. So that's going to give people an idea of when they open up the form, they can see it's completed um, or they look into the SharePoint list and they can see these different statuses as well. Now this could be dependent on your requirements, but this is just an example here. So we've got our choice uh, of status, status column. First thing is we come to Nintex Forms, and when you first open up Nintex Forms, we will build you a form based on your columns. So it only had title and status. If you're adding a status column to an existing form, um, go and add the column to the list and then open up the designer and you'll have the status in the SharePoint columns in here. You can just drag that on. Now, if you have the designer already open and you go to a separate tab and add a column, you will have to save and close your designer and reopen it so that the designer can refresh and get those new columns. So now we've got our status here. You can go to preview and you can see scheduled, uh, in progress, completed, have all the choices there. The first thing that comes to my mind is I don't want the user uh, setting a status manually. So I would come in here and set this to uh, read only is true. So now we come to preview and they can't change the status. So that's good, but also it has no status. It looks a bit weird. So I would say, um, I think the requirements were they wanted a date time control where they could select a date and schedule something. So if the date time is selected, then I want to set a status in here. So I'm going to say rules, add form rule, set status is if date is filled, then status value is uh, scheduled. And if they clear the date, then the status value is not scheduled. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have, gonna have rules. So they come through here and they're filling out some details. They select a date. And you can see here, it's not scheduled. Select a date, it's scheduled. If they clear it out, it's not scheduled. Now, the next thing I think about is, well, we always wanna have a date. So I would set the date to uh, required. Um, you always wanna make sure you're getting the data you need. Uh, having a non-required fields is a bit, sometimes you don't always need them, but usually if you're passing this to workflow, you probably want the, that data. So I would set this to required, and that means you will, this will always be populated as status. So now that we've got this to required, the next thing I think about is what if I didn't want someone to change the date after it's scheduled? So that means in new mode, they can set a date, but in edit mode, I don't want someone to come and change that date. It's already been scheduled, the workflow is running. So what I would do is come to form rules and add a new rule. I would say uh, disable date control. And I would say if, so date, status, title, they're all input controls. We don't necessarily want to change anything on the input of the controls. We want to change the form behavior based on if it's in new mode, or if it's someone trying to edit the data. So we can click on the insert tab here and we can say a uh, form mode. If it's in new mode is yes. So if it is in new mode, uh, the date control uh, read only is no. Otherwise, if the date control is, uh, if, 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 if it's in new mode is no, so that means edit or display, read only is true. So go ahead and create that rule and let's test that out. <laughs> So I'm in new mode, I can see I can schedule it and I can change the date. I come to edit mode, I can't actually change the date. So that's one way you could solve that problem. The other way, let's get rid of that rule, is you can actually also do very similar logic directly on the control. So if you come through to here, you see read only, it's yes or no. So there are two, two options, Boolean options, yes or no. Is it read only? Yes, read only, no, or you could put in the insert tab a formula that returns a yes or no response. So a yes or no response would be something like, am I in, in new mode? Yes. Yes, I'm in new mode. 
which means yes, read only in new mode. So I come to preview. Now I can't select it, which is not quite what we want. So what could we do to change this? So if we come to, through to here, I don't necessarily want it to be just on form mode. I might do a formula and I might say um, form mode, and you can do it this way as well. You could say new mode, uh, insert, and that would be the same thing as what I did before. It's still not working. So what we can do here is we come down to the control. Now you've got a couple of options here. You could do um, not form mode. If it's not in form mode, which means edit or uh, display. So if it's not in new mode, so it, and not actually inverses the Boolean in here, uh, which is inversed. So that, so the value, if it returns yes, inverse it to no. So we go update, preview, and now it works in new mode, doesn't work in edit mode. Now the other option you could actually do is, you could actually just say, if is edit mode, if it's edit mode, because display you can't edit, new you can, and edit you can. So let's go, if it's in edit mode is yes, then it's read only. Preview, I can select dates in new mode, can't do it in, in, um, in edit mode anymore, and display, it's always read only anyway. So that's a quick and easy way. One other way, if you really wanted to get tricky, is you could say um, an if else condition. So you could say something like form mode, um, form mode is new, and this is a probably a bit more an advanced topic, but something worth considering. If it's in new mode is true, then return false. Otherwise, um, return true. Now that's probably the most complex example and the other ones were much simpler and much easier, but um, hey, if, if you want to do if else, you could do a bunch of different things on that and you'll also see this also works. So I can select the date in new mode, edit, I can't. All right, so I've got our example set. We can set publish and close and now let's move on to the workflow. How do we change that status. Now, before we go onto the workflow, actually, let's just create an item. So I say, hello world, uh, select the date of today. Now it's scheduled. Okay, I submit. Now I, wanna, I can see the status is scheduled and I can open it up and I can see it's in view mode. And when I click on edit, I still can't change that. It's all scheduled, it's locked in, it's ready to go. I might be able to say, uh, change the title and I can submit it and do a couple of extra amendments to it, but I can't change the status. Now I then come to the workflow. And what we want to do is create a list workflow and it's item update list item. There it is. Update list item. So once the workflow starts, we want to set this to in progress. So I open up the workflow, current item, select the status. So these are all the columns that you have. So we've got status, we're going to set add. So we're actually just adding the property we want to update. So let's say add status in progress. We'll just put the text in there, save. Now that will set the workflow to say in progress. Now we want something else to happen. We want a, a task form or just a task really will do. And we're just going to say, um, we won't do a, a Nintex form for this. We'll just do something simple. Uh, please review. Save, and once that's been done, um, it doesn't really matter. We could do it in approve. We could say, you know, uh, set a different status to approved or rejected. But in this instance, we'll just do uh, update uh, list item and we'll do it at the end here, or we can do it at approve. We'll just do it at the end here. Say uh, current item status add complete it. All right, so press save. And so, as I said, you could have different statuses for approve or rejected, but we'll just put it at the bottom here. So we're gonna go publish um, status update workflow, give the workflow a name, publish. Okay, so we're good to go. We've got our workflow ready. We've got our item already submitted and it's scheduled and you could start your workflow on item creation or it could be uh, item modified or it could be a scheduled 
uh, workflow or could be um, a site workflow. It doesn't really matter. It's um, an item has come through and we're just going to manually start that workflow for the moment just to show how that status would then change. So I'm going to start the workflow. So as we saw before, the item said scheduled and that workflow started. So we should see that come through soon if I come through. So it says scheduled and So it started. It started and we're waiting for the task to come through. There we go. So a task has come through. So it's assigned to me. It says, please review. Now, before we do that, let's just go back to the hello world item. So we can see now it's in progress. So the workflow started, it says in progress, and I come through to here and I'm gonna open up my task and I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna say it's approved. Okay, so the workflow should be saying completed shortly. And the task is completed. And we go. So the workflow is now completed. The task is completed. Now our status is here. So if we refresh, we can now see our status is completed as well. So someone can come in here and they can't change that status. So if we just go close and you'll see that status is now represented on the list as well. So that's how you could use the uh, status in a form, in a workflow, in a list and help your users understand what's happening with their submission without letting them actually manually change that. I hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.